What is up? It's Shady's Babies, and this is a video about my honeycomb storage strategy that I use, and why you should consider using it. Um, I'm over here on the paranoid.gg servers, and I actually built this base all yesterday. It's a three times server, and it got raided pretty quickly. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look like I have much. This used to be just farm. All six of these were just farm. This was nothing except a mixing table. And this is how I found it when I logged on this morning, except for this. So I was missing this. I was missing all three of these doors. I was missing the shotgun trap. And this was up. If I come up here, I didn't get to develop this as much. I was missing nothing from up here. This is all pretty much how I left it. I didn't get to really do much up here. So it was sort of just like a layer of honeycomb. This door was missing. Uh, the ladder hatch. Um, I can't remember if it was missing. But it doesn't really matter. This door was missing and then this tile was missing. So that's like three doors, two hatches, two garage doors, and floor, and two more doors. Quite a bit of doors. And this was a loot area. This is a loot area. That's a loot area. He only got one of my loot areas. Um, and it just had a moderate amount of stuff. So I can open up all these for you guys. I think this one was actually open, but I didn't have anything. Oh, I guess I did have some stuff. So maybe it was closed. I tried to close it all, but I didn't get around to it. So, this is everything I still have. There was nothing there. Um, just moderate stuff. I didn't get to put, there's more stuff over here. Uh, but this was just like the latest storage I put. Got some more benches. Those are still there. This is all still here. I didn't put anything in that. And all my components are still here. My farming stuff. And my tool cabinet is still all here. Um, so how, how do I set up this honeycomb? Pretty much what it is is it's just a half wall and you can pack four boxes in here. I think you might be able to do more if you use storage shelves, so you can put them like sideways, but this is just super easy for me. Um, one thing you have to do is you have to get be able to get to that back lock, especially if you have teammates. So what I usually do is I'll put down this right one, let all the teammates put codes in, and then I'll put down this left one. And it's pretty straightforward, and if you think about it, usually people use honeycomb and there's nothing. It's just wasted space, and you'd be left with this 3x3 three three interior. And I think that's what this guy saw when he raided me, because he didn't raid me through the wall or do a rocket raid. Um, and despite having turrets and walls, I should have put down metal barricades on the bottom, because I have a turret there. That has to be there for the shotgun trap, so if you ever see that, that's probably a shotgun trap. I had turrets to cover the cliffs, and metal barricades so you can't jump up there, and another turret back there. And this is what I found this morning. There's this ladder. Um, if you had two more ladders, you could have just literally gone up that and gone over. But that would have been the way to raid this base. This is just ladder up and then ladder onto that. But And it, I didn't really have a lot of time to set up. I built this in one day. Um, granted, it's three times. But I just sort of wanted to make a short video about how this guy also raided me. He just went in through here, hit the shotgun trap. It had about 40 rounds, but he probably drained it. Um, another door. Another door. This was open. That's my bad. And then he saw just farms. The lights were all on, probably. He broke my farming thing. That's a little bummer. Um... That still works. And um, if you haven't seen my 80% power efficiency video, that's still around. But ironically, he didn't even end up getting... He, the power didn't impact it at all. 
Um, he didn't even break my solar panels, which I kind of thought someone might do if they try to raid. My solar panels are out here, um, all stacked up and all in good health. Um, but yeah, I've got that 80% power set up. It, it was really quick. Like, I don't know if it's just because I tried it a bunch the other day, but... And this is almost fully charged after one day with providing 68 power the whole time. It's almost, it's just one day. Not even one day, like 12 hours maybe. Um, I also like to put the TC in the honeycomb just because no one expects it. And that guy, he blew into this honeycomb and found the battery and didn't even bother like damaging anything. He could have broke this one electrical branch Actually, this ore switch and my whole network would have just gone down. And he would have been able to get to the turrets outside. Um, which is just as three Tommies and probably 200 rounds of pistol. But That's all I really have got for you guys. Um, just a really quick brief video about my argument for it. Um, and why I think it's pretty good that you just store all your stuff in honeycomb. There are, is another strategy, uh, which I can demonstrate for you guys. So you got it all locked up. Bad guys can't get into it. I guess it only takes one satchel in a box. More do you know. And so what you could do is you can have these simple ones if you don't want to use a battery or you want to put your TC somewhere else. Alright, well, I guess this thing is completely useless because the crate just spawns out so much, so, uh, I guess don't do that. Alright, well, that's all I really got for you guys today on this, uh, concept. Let me know if you want a little more in-depth video on it and, uh, other strategies for putting down stuff into the, uh, corners, so.